Hey everyone, this is Marmozir and this is part 15 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Gods and Kings as Ostia. When I last left in the previous part, I was beating the Mongols back into the Stone Age. So I'm going to continue doing that actually. I think I'm going to just take Karakorum and raise this city. I'm not sure if there's a city right here. I think there might be. I need to explore there a little bit. But yeah, there's one more thing actually. I was going to grab this oil and I actually didn't in the end. So now I need to send my worker back. It's only free oil, but hey, that's always more than zero, right? So, right, let's send one guy over there. I'm keeping these units near Athens just to discourage Darius from attacking me. I know he's plotting against me because my spy warned me about that. So it's quite likely that there might be an attack coming from this side. I need to watch my back basically. I am already sending one battleship over there, this one. So this land force plus a battleship should be enough to handle a potential attack. The Persians do have a battleship themselves, at least one. So that might be a more interesting war than with the Mongols, which is a bit one-sided to say the least. Let's grab a seaport here. And the public school here, I suppose. Or a circus. I'm at 9 happiness actually now. I was at 25 or something like that not long ago. Maybe I should grab happiness building here as well. Yeah, let's get a circus. I can't drop below zero, obviously. Right, so back to my island. I'm going to keep Turfan. It's a pretty good city. And I'm probably going to take Karakorum and keep that as well. Not sure if there's a city here. I need to see it first before I decide what to do with that one. I could probably just eliminate the Mongols from the game if I wanted to. I don't need to watch out not to actually lose Turfan now. I do have several battleships in range, so I should be okay. Probably going to start from getting rid of this artillery. I should send some land units over there, to be honest. Anyway, I have two more uses on my Great Prophet. One is going to Sparta. And the last one, I'm not sure about that yet. I need to decide. All of my cities here are already mine. I could just send him to one of the city-states. Or save him somewhere in my city, in case anyone steals. Oh yeah, I could send it to Turfan, right. I almost forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to send it to Turfan then. And I'm about to finish rocket actually, which will give me a mobile rocket artillery. That will make my army even stronger. But for now, I need to get rid of all these cannon units. And I could upgrade this guy to infantry. That might be a good idea, and healing him first would be an even better idea. Okay, so... I need to get rid of this artillery. I'm going to start from that. Wow, one shot? That's going to be fast. I thought I'm going to need two battleships to get rid of one of these. <laughs> but obviously not. Now, can I one-shot this one as well? That would be nice. Nope, I can't. I need a battleship with bombardment. This one has bombardment 1. Oh, I think this battleship had bombardment 2. Yeah, it did. Which is plus 33% bonus twice. Yeah, I need two battleships to get rid of this one. But I'm going to do that because then he won't be able to fire at Turfan with any of his artillery units. Down it goes. Keeping Turfan should be pretty easy. Back to Sparta. It already has a castle from what I can see. I should be fine up there, even if Darius decides to attack me. I don't see what kind of force he would have to bring. 
Okay, I have one more battleship to use. So, I could finish off this cavalry, I suppose. Let's do that. Down he goes. And this battleship is going up here. Once I finish rocketry, I'm just going to build Apollo program somewhere. I'm going to go for whichever victory type is going to be faster. So if spaceship turns out to be faster, I'll go for that. If diplomatic victory is going to be faster, I'll go for diplomatic victory. Because I pretty much have this game in the bag right now. Darius is actually pretty strong, but if he wants to win, he would actually have to attack me and take some of my cities. There's no way he can win otherwise, at least I really don't think so. Especially when he's focused on wars. He's building up a huge army, bigger than he needs. Hey, he's actually attacking my battleship. That's cute, he thinks he can do something against it. I'll have to move it into the city to heal it, though. Come on, hurry up. Ten turns of resistance in Turfan, that's going to take a while. And I should be able to get Eiffel Tower in Vienna. But that will be nice. Oh, what is my privateer doing here? I have no idea. Oh no, that's a Mongol privateer, derp. That was a brain fart moment right there. I thought it's mine for a moment. And I'm allied with Venice, which makes no sense. And Golden Age, nice. Wow. Plus 368 income? Not bad at all. I wasn't even paying attention to my Golden Age score. So that's a pleasant surprise. And this is my first fighter. So, where should I send him? I'm going to give him interception one because then I can just set him to intercept in one of my cities. Or even interception 2. I don't think I'm going to actually use this fighter for any kind of bombardment or whatever. And I can give him plus 2 range. If I want bombardment, I'll get actual bombers. So it looks like Quebec City is the best city, actually, for interception. Because then I will be able to reach some potential Mongol bombers, if there will be any. And if Darius decides to get some in Corinth, I will be able to take care of that as well. He probably won't, but better safe than sorry. Okay, the Prophet is going to be unemployed for now. Oh yeah, I was going to grab Turfan with him. Right. Wow, Darius has a lot of stuff, holy crap. What is he planning to do with it? Well, I know he's plotting against me. Maybe he's building up a big enough army to actually attack me? That seems like it might be the case. So I need to keep building up. I'm probably just going to keep one of my cities permanently on military production. I definitely don't want to lose this game to Darius attacking me. That would be unfortunate. Oh, damn it. I actually had a worker in here. What the heck am I doing? Wow, that was just no comment. Right, can I attack anything with this battleship? No, I can't. Not on this turn anyway. Let's move down here then. And I'm going to start from getting rid of this artillery. Because I need to send this battleship to Vienna and I can't do it with this artillery over here. So much for that. Oh, I'm not actually close enough to send it to Vienna in one turn, unfortunately. Yeah, because it's eight hexes away. Yeah, he has no chance against me. So Darius is pretty much the only threat that I can see right now. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, Bombardment 2 is pretty awesome. I can one-shot his artillery units when I can't otherwise. 
Uh, looks like that was my last battleship. Grass. Grass is my highest production city and it has a military academy. So if I want to keep up with military production, I should probably just do it in Grass. A few more fighters might be good. Maybe a submarine would be nice. If Darius is going to attack me with any of these. Where was he? Oh yeah, it was near this city. Then it might be good having at least one submarine, just in case, although battleships would do the trick as well. I can just get more battleships, I suppose. That works. I can't get destroyers just yet. If Darius actually decides to attack me, I'll take some of his cities, because why not? I can. Alright, Athens. What can I get in Athens? I'll just get more culture. How's my culture doing, actually? Oh, nice. I'm going to get next policy in one turn. So I'm just going to feel rationalism, actually, because while I'm not going to get any benefit out of scientific revolution, it does mean I'll fill the entire tree, which gives me two technologies for free. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see. I'll grab a coffee house. And coffee house here as well. Plus 10 happiness, that's good for now. I'm going to need more before I take Karakorum though. But I can still build some theaters and colosseums in some of my cities. And I will build a courthouse in Turfan once it's out of resistance. Which is still going to take 9 more turns. No, I'm not going to fight Alexander. I already beat him. And he has what? One city left? Looks like it. I guess Darius is going to be bored soon. Oh and hey, I have this anti-aircraft gun coming to my island. I sent it there like 10 turns ago or something like that. And there we go, that's my policy. So let's fill the rationalism tree. Laventa is starving, what? Let's have a look at Laventa then. Why is it starving? Oh, two unemployed citizens? But I still have hexes that I'm not working... Oh, it's blockaded, okay. That explains it then. But this hex is still not being worked. That makes no sense. Why was he not working this city? When I'm... Let's reset it and check again. Reset tiles. Now he's working properly. So why was he not setting a worker to this hex? Although I'm still starving because of this stupid blockade. What? Am I at war with this city? That makes no sense. And I can't even get rid of it easily. Wow, that's slightly annoying. I guess I need to wait for this battleship. Yeah, that's just annoying. Now oh well, I'll take care of it later. And I got a promotion. I'm just going to grab Bombardment, I think, although Targeting free would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to grab Targeting free at least on one battleship. That will help. Oh yeah, he's bringing even more cannons now. He's a stubborn one, isn't he? I'm not sure what he's counting on. Alright. You know, I kind of want Darius to attack me, that will make this game a little more exciting. And I can beat him as well. I can totally take this city easily. And I could take his capital as well. Wow, 28 size? That's pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to set this dude to intercept. And he can stay there. And I'm going to keep my battleship in Athens. Just in case there's any funny business going on around here. Nothing, nothing left to do for my worker here. Let's grab an oil well. Then let's continue beating the Mongols. I can't actually attack from up here without being in range of Karakorum, so I guess I'll just get rid of this rifleman. I 
I can move here a bit. Down he goes. And now... Oh yeah, this guy has bombardment too, so I can probably one-shot this cannon easily. He can't actually bombard me with these cannons yet, because these are the two hex range ones. He needs to upgrade them to artillery. If these three were all, all artillery, then he would be able to bombard Turfan. He might actually have a chance to take it then. But yeah, I got two technologies for free now. So, let's have a look. I want to get some destroyers, to be honest. So... Hmm... I also want to maximize how many points I'm going to save, but I think I'm just going to grab Combustion, even though this doesn't save me all that much. So I can grab this and combine the arms for my second one. I'm not getting rocketry because I'm already about to finish researching that. I could get Atomic Theory as well and get the Manhattan Project. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, hey, I could do that. And that will also allow me to research advanced ballistics after that. I'm going to need all of these anyway, I suppose. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to grab Combustion. And now I suppose it doesn't really matter which one I get, because these are all the same exact research cost. Yeah, 5610 for each one of these. So... Do I want helicopter gunships? That's a good question. I don't really need them, to be honest. I could get Atomic Theory. Oh yeah, it improves Academy Science Yield by 2. And I do have one Academy, so let's just grab this. And it uncovers Uranium on the map. So that's good. And now I can upgrade my privateer to destroyer. 460 gold, wow, are you serious? That's pricey. That's a ripoff, even. I'm tempted to just use this battleship to get rid of this stupid caravel. Or I could wait three turns to get one in grass. I don't want Laventa to be blockaded. Oh well. Okay, what to get here? I think I'm just going to grab Arsenal for more defenses. Darius might attack me here. It does look quite likely. This is kind of my weakest spot on this island right now. Okay, looks like I'm done here. Let's have a look at my spies. Hmm, I don't really need a spy in Karakorum anymore. I could send him somewhere el else. To one of the city-states, for example. Speaking of city-states, let's have a look at them. Yeah, I could just send my spies to one of the city-states or whatever. You know, once I get United Nations, I will be able to win diplomatic victory quite easily. So I'm going to send my spy to Rio, for example. Sure, that works. Let's do that. So one spy is going here. And I suppose I could move the spy from Moscow. Russians aren't really a threat to me. And they are way too far from me to be actually able to do anything. So I can grab this spy and send him where? Yeah, one of these cities. Alright, let's do it. Hold on. This one is mercantile and this one is maritime. Wow, 146 influence on Darius here. 67 here. So I'm going to send him to this one. Alright, good. This guy can stay in Darius' capital. I want some spider to inform me. The spy should inform me when Darius actually sends a force to attack me. There is one event that tells you, not about plotting, but when the AI actually sends an army to attack someone. So in this case, 
it will almost definitely be me. So where to stick this gun? Either in Salzburg or in Quebec City? Well, the range on this is pretty low, so... I don't think the Mongols are going to build any more air units. They got bigger problems right now. Like my battleships. He really thinks he can take Turfan back, that's cute. Not going to happen, bro. But it will take me a while to actually take Karakorum, because I need to get rid of all of these first. And rocket tree is done, awesome. Now I can build Apollo program somewhere. Is Laventa still blockaded? No, it's not. And I got another fighter. So I'll just grab interception for that fighter as well. Sure. It's mostly for defense. And I'm actually going to leave him in Athens this time around. Yep. Sounds like a plan. So... What should I grab next? Combine arms, maybe? Or penicillin? I guess it doesn't matter that much. I could build Sydney Opera House somewhere. But once I build Apollo, Apollo program, I can start actually building my spaceship parts. So... I'm actually going to grab satellites to reveal the entire map. Sure. I could get Hubble Space Telescope after that as well, which gives me two free great scientists. But I, I would probably have to do it in Graz, which is currently on military production. What's my second highest production city? That's Linz. Oh yeah, I could do it in Linz, actually. It's building a bomber, but it's almost done. So I'm going to build Apollo program in Linz, that's my second highest production city. And I need a research lab here. Okay, what now? The destroyer can stay in here for now. I need to get rid of these cannons. That won't be a problem. I don't even need bombardment too. Although, yeah, this battleship does have bombardment too. I thought it's this one. But yeah, I don't need bombardment, so with bombardment 1 I'm still one-shotting these cannons. So I really have no idea what he's thinking. This guy has bombardment too. Yeah, so much for his attack force. That was the shortest attack ever. So much for that, dude. I can actually finish him off with my Great War Infantry now. I don't think he will die to this Rifleman. I should upgrade him to Infantry though. But whatever, let's finish off this cavalry guy. Down he goes. That was fast. I still have 11 oil left, so that's more than enough. How's resistance doing in Turfan? Seven more turns. Yeah, that's taking a while. So, where to move this dude? I'll just leave him on my main island. Maybe to Sparta? I have a really nice army now. I almost want Darius to attack me. With all these battleships, I would demolish him most likely. And I should be pretty safe up here as well. I do have artillery here. I can actually upgrade it to rocket artillery right now. And I'm going to do that in a moment. Florence election rigged? Is that by me? Yeah, it is. Was Florence actually mine? Yeah, it's mine. 
Let's see what's up in Athens. Oh yeah, I could get the Manhattan Project. I could also get Crystal Redentor. But Athens is not the most impressive city in terms of production. Still, I could get Manhattan Project. That's not an important wonder. So I can build it in a city with lower production like Athens. That makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? And yeah, I was going to upgrade this artillery. 360 gold. Yeah, these upgrades are getting expensive now. Oh, hey, I actually got a promotion on this dude. Let's upgrade him as well. And let's get rid of this rifleman. Sucks to be him. And now I can finally start attacking Karakorum, which I should do from the north because of this annoying city. Or I could just raise this city down first. Maybe I do that. It will go down fast with only 48 strength. Karakorum only has 78. That's not very high at all. So I'm going to raise this city first. Let's move over there. That will be fast with so many battleships. And I got a bomber now. Nice. So I'm most likely to use it against units and not against cities. So I'm going to grab bombardment 1. And plus 1 range maybe. Or bombardment 2. I'll get plus 2 range instead. And now I can rebase it to Quebec. Quebec looks like the best city to keep most of my air units in. Because I'll have these cities in range. And I'll still have Salzburg in range. So that looks good. Let's convert Turfan. I should upgrade lots of these units. But that's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Anything here to upgrade? No, I don't think so. These are done. Actually, no, I don't have anything left to upgrade. Okay. Alright, I'm going to build Apollo program in Linz. Like I said, that's my second highest production city. And once I'm done with that, I'll just start building my parts. I might be able to get a diplomatic victory before that. But I can build some spaceship parts anyway. I already said I'm going to I'm going to go for whichever victory is going to be faster at this point. If the AI is smart, Darius is going to attack me. Because honestly, attacking me is the only way he can prevent me from winning this game. And wow, I still have 12 turns of Golden Age, holy crap. That's just massive. And another new battleship. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm going to grab a research lab in grass real quick. That's only six turns. So, I think I'm going to get bombardment on this dude. Hmm, not too sure about that. I could just get both. I could also get plus one movement, but that seems like a waste. I'm actually going to get both bombardment and targeting one. To make it more universal. Alright, time to raise this city. Oh, he has an ironclad here. Not anymore. Ironclad? What ironclad? I don't see any ironclads. Oh, what? Great. Oh, that was a destroyer. There, I thought it's a battleship. Doesn't matter. It will go down anyway. I just might have to heal this destroyer. You know, I should get more than one destroyer. That might be a good idea. If I if I plan taking more cities. So I might actually get one more destroyer in grass or whatever. Rocket artillery, nice. And I'm keeping this bomber here. Mobile Sam. Um. 
And you're going back to Torfan. I'm going to take some damage on this destroyer, unfortunately, because I derped and moved him into city's range. It's okay, it will make the Mongols feel better about themselves. Just hurry up. I want to raise the city faster. He Now he wants peace. Sorry, bro. I'm not interested. Oh yeah, I got a great admiral. That will make my fleet even stronger than it already is. I totally needed that. <laughs> but hey, it will be good against Darius, actually. Didn't I actually have a great admiral somewhere? I thought I had a great admiral somewhere. Oh yeah, I do have a great... No, is this the new one? Yeah, this was the new one. But I totally thought I have a great admiral somewhere. Is this here behind the battleship? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter much. I'm going to send him to Sparta, I think. I mean, I don't need a great admiral against Mongols. I could just keep him in Quebec. Whatever, he can stay in Quebec. And the battleship is repaired. Because I need more firepower against the Mongols, right? Totally, I do. I won't even need all of this here. I mean, this city is going down right now. And then I'm moving to Karakorum. So I want some badly ships on the north side, because Darius might come from here. So I want to keep some of my ships over here. I'm just raising this city. It's just really bad. Yep, raise. I don't need it. Zero happiness, yeah, I need to watch out for that. Let's get a Colosseum before I drop into the negatives. And a stadium over here? Sure. And another stadium? Or anything else? Actually, I'm going to grab Akedot here. Or not? Yeah, I don't need my cities to grow faster, actually. Not when I'm low on happiness. I'll just grab a stadium here. That seems to make sense. So the next target is going to be Karakorum. And I should be able to annex Turfan soon, in four turns. Darius declared war on the Mongols, okay. So I guess Darius changed his mind? He was plotting against me a while ago. And now he attacked Mongols? I guess he wants their capital. Or this city over here. Oh yeah, do I have any uranium? I didn't actually have a look at that. I don't! Wow. I don't see any uranium over here. Is this the only city with uranium on Mongol Island? Wow. I think it is. I have zero right now. Maybe there's some here? Oh yeah, there is some uranium over here. I can grab that with my worker. I think that's a worker behind the privateer. But yeah, the Mongols are about to have a really bad time. I guess Darius is mostly after these cities. I don't think he cares about this island, unless he really wants this uranium, but I don't think he actually has a technology to unlock it just yet. And he has some of his own near his capital. So I guess he's just after these cities. And I can grab these. I could just take both of them, I need to watch my happiness though. Well, mo lots of that is from raising this city. Anyway, I need to heal up my destroyer. I should have moved it into my territory. And now it's time to start bombarding Karakorum. After I sing this. These are just a little bit outdated technologically. 
that's just floating junk, more or less. That's what it is. Oh hey, he actually has artillery in here. So I want to stay away. I'll just send the other battleship north of Karakorum. Because why not? I wonder if Persians are going to attack Karakorum. I wouldn't want them to steal it from me. Yeah, I can't attack anything from here. I need to heal up my destroyer fast. Let's just grab another stadium. If I'm going to take both of these Mongol cities, I'm going to need more happiness. There's no doubt about that. Let's grab this uranium before I forget. And I can just upgrade this to destroyer. I can just send it back home. I mean, I don't need a privateer over here. Oh, here's my other great admiral, right. Okay, but I'm going to send this destroyer back home. Especially since I can actually use an extra destroyer. Even though that will take 7 turns. But it will be useful. Yeah, I don't need anything here. I could actually build nukes if I wanted to. Once I finish Manhattan project, which is going to happen in 9 turns. Oh, that's a deal I had with him. Nah, whatever, I don't want deals with you. I have enough gold. I do think the diplomatic victory is going to be faster. Because I need some really light technologies, like nanotechnology for the spaceship parts. So I'm pretty sure I can build United Nations before I can get nanotechnology researched. Although with my current research rate, who knows? Spices. Do I have enough spices? Yeah, I do. I'm just a little bit ahead right now, although a lot of my score are wonders that I stole from Hiawatha in his capital. Still, even without these wonders, I would be ahead of Darius. I'm going to check demographics in a moment. I'm actually curious how big his army is right now. Come on. Oh yeah, I got Eiffel Tower. Awesome. So that will boost my happiness just a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. 21 happiness. But that's also because of the city that is not there anymore. Okay, back to Vienna for a moment. Research lab, that seems obvious. And let's have a look at demographics. Oh hey, my army is actually the biggest one right now. So I'm number one in almost everything except population. And on that note, I'm going to finish this part here. And take Karakorum in next one. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.